welcome to my channel. Today, obviously, we're going to be doing some unboxing. So I got all the variants of Taylor Swift's brand new album, Midnight's, and I thought I would do an unboxing video with you all. So I'm going to be doing it all in this one video. I was like, mm, should I do it in like different parts? But I decided just to do it all in one. I will put the timestamps below of like which like vinyl is which, you know, um, if you, in case you just want to watch one. Uh, but yeah, let's go unbox some vinyls. I love Taylor. It's been a success. It's First with the original vinyl, this is the Moonstone Blue one and this is just the normal album cover that you would see on Spotify, Amazon, Apple Music, that sort of thing. So this is the Midnight Moonstone Blue vinyl, you can see what it looks like there and on the back there. It is a really really beautiful one, um, this one was bought from HMV, I think it was £32.99 from HMV and it was made in the Czech Republic, whereas the one I bought from Taylor's store they are made in France. Interesting for you there. So this is the sticker that is on most of the vinyls apart from the signed one and it says collect all four special editions. Moonstone blue marbled vinyl disc unique photos. The Moonstone vinyl and we're gonna open it. So I've got my handy little nail scissors here so I don't damage it because there's a slight gap there where I can just poke this through. There you go. It makes an opening big enough so you're not kind of like digging your nails in. I love opening vinyls, it's so satisfying, but also really stressful at the same time because you're like, do I actually want to open this? The answer is usually yes, because I do want to play it. So. I promise I can usually open them better than this, but I'm under pressure. Come on. Is it gonna... There we go, that's better. So I'm trying to preserve the sticker, that's the thing I want. I'm worried. There we go, taking that off there. There we go, sticker is fine. And that's it open. So let's look inside what is in the Moonstone Blue vinyl. So this is the back cover. The back cover is the start of the clock. So obviously it goes from 12 to like part of three, as you can see. Um, it's a little bit confusing because obviously where the opening is, it's kind of like weird. But um, yeah, that's that's the part of the clock. And obviously you can see where the three is then cut off to like lead into the next final. So this is the front cover. Absolutely gorgeous. I think a lot of people were surprised when this um, like album cover came out because they were like, well, it's got the track titles there. Surely this is the back cover. And there was also a lot of like rumors like, oh, maybe all the tracks are called track one, track two, track three. Obviously that's not the case, um, but I do think it's an absolutely gorgeous album cover and I love the different variants of it. Let's open it. This is actually my first time looking at this because I kind of avoided looking at anything about them because I kind of wanted to be surprised when I open it. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is such a nice picture. Um, I did actually open my Jay Green one already um, because that was signed, so I wanted to see the signed picture, but that does have a different uh, bit here. That is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. I am... Um, I am obsessed, that's so nice. I think they've done so well with these vinyls. So let's open it up here. Is this a lyric booklet? I think it might be a lyric booklet, so that's the front. I love that picture so much, it's so nice. And then the back. The other Taylor Swift vinyls I own don't have a lyric booklet, so this is a really nice thing to have. I think when you get the vinyls, you do kind of miss the lyric booklet, because I really like it. I remember when I was younger, you know, getting read for the first time, obviously you go through the lyric book and look at the secret messages. She doesn't do them anymore, but it's still nice to go through the lyric booklet. So, I mean, a lot of effort has been put into this. So there we go. Oh, hit myself in the head with that. That is the prologue of the album, What Keeps You Up At Night absolutely stunning and then we have lavender haze lyrics first flow lyrics i really like that lavender haze is a different color there i think it's really nice that um i think all the um lyric booklets might be the same um but they are really nice the colors are stunning and i think the colors for the track titles are also the different color variants as well which is quite cool and I'm really, really loving the Midnight's photo shoot. I kind of, I love it when Taylor has a proper album photo shoot and there's just so many pictures you can like discover. 
Um, it's like, that's why Red Taylor, um, sorry, that's why the original version of Red, I'm absolutely obsessed with that because there's just so many different um, pictures and you just seem to find more, which I absolutely love. So that's the lyric booklet there. Absolutely stunning. And now let's have a look at the actual vinyl. Oh my gosh, look at this. They've definitely put a lot of work into these vinyls because I, this is fantastic. Like, I love my other Tales of Finals, don't get me wrong, but this is like another level. So, I, I love this. Okay, let's open this up. It opens up from the top. So this is the Moonstone Blue one. It says marbled this, so let's see if we can get it, like show you the marbling as well. Sometimes when you see marbled finals, they're not always the best. Uh, a little bit, a little bit there, I don't know. Oh, you can see it on here, can't you? You can see a little bit of marbling, but it's mostly a kind of, you know, a little bit disappointed with the level of marbling, marbling on that because that is it. And it just kind of looks a bit like, oh. But other than that, everything else, fantastic. And you, you are kind of taking the risk when you get a marble vinyl because a lot of them are unique. You know, you don't know what you're getting and this is evident because there is not that much. Even when you hold it up to the light, there's still not actually that much. Um, but it's still nice. I really love what they've done with the clock. I think that's really clever. I do think this is probably maybe, I don't want to get too excited too, uh, too soon, my favourite kind of Taylor, like, album package, if that makes sense. I don't even know, like, the full thing is really fantastic. I've not yet got any of the CDs. I was going to do this originally, like, unboxing vinyls and CDs, but my CDs have been delayed because of the postal strikes, so I'm just doing vinyls today. But yeah, I, I think that's really good how it's a clock. I do think it's clever. I think the clock theme is just genius. So yeah, that is the Moonstone Blue vinyl. Let's pop that back in there, nice and safe. And I also bought from HMV those like covers you can get just to protect them extra because I am gonna put these on my wall. Uh, and when I put them on my wall, I separate the actual vinyl because obviously there is a light and heat and stuff from the window. So I don't wanna damage them in any way. But there we go. So that is, oh my gosh, go in, go in. I'm always so overly cautious with them. My first ever vinyl was actually Red Taylor's version and I did a full unboxing video on that as well if you want to check it out. A um, little bit of self-promo are all here. But yeah, this is the gorgeous Moonstone Blue and this is kind of like the main vinyl. Like, this is the most like common one, I think. Um, yeah, so this is the Moonstone Blue one. I thought I'd start with that and then we're going to do the clock. Um, so I'm just going to, we're going to do the lavender one at the end and then we're going to go down the clock. We're going to do it clockwise. So next one, on the clock I think is this one which is the moon not moon blood the blood moon one so we're gonna do that one next but this is just the gorgeous moonstone blue okay so next up what do we have we have the blood moon vinyl another gorgeous one I think this is my third no second favorite maybe mm, third favorite I think I love the Jay Green one so much. I think it's gorgeous. I can't wait to get to that one. But I also love this one as well. So this is what it looks like. That's the sticker on it. Really nice. This one was bought from Taylor's website and it's made in France. And yeah, this is just what it looks like. And then you can see from the previous one, let me get this together. The threes connect together to make part of the clock. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna use my nail scissors and then I'm gonna preserve the sticker because I want to keep the sticker afterwards and just kind of put it like with the rest of my like tailor things um because I like to keep stuff like that I know it's a bit like cringe but I'm cringe okay this one doesn't want to open let's, let's do it from this side this is risky I'm gonna I'm gonna snip it a little bit but only because it's like got excess and that should make it easier to open has it Yes, it has. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I wish with vinyls they did things like Amazon packages or like makeup packages, you know, where you can just like pull a strip all the way down. I love it when you can do that. Because these, these are definitely difficult and because you want to be like careful with them, it's like stressful. Also extra stressful doing it on camera because if I do it wrong, someone might be like, oh, you've done it wrong. And then I'll cry. I won't actually cry. Oh, we will. We're almost there. We're almost there, everyone. Oh, I've got to be careful. It's another sticker. Oh, 
there we go beautiful incredible this is the blood moon vinyl there we go she's gorgeous as well and here is the back cover now, i've seen a few people kind of upset about the clock kind of aspect because obviously it does have the barcode there so that will kind of like distract from the clockness um so like part part of it would have been like good to have it on the front i think but also if you had it on the front then like if you only bought one of them you'd, you'd have an incomplete clock where if it's in the if it's on the back like most people display their vinyls on the front wherever it was on the like front it would look incomplete whereas it's on the back you don't really see it if that makes sense okay let's see what's in the front of this again i'm not open this one so I'm very excited oh ooh, look at that that's a really nice one she's pretty i like it it's nice i'm just i'm really really loving this i do i'm <laughs> I've definitely said but I just I love it I think that I do think the lyric booklet is exactly the same but we'll just double check on this one um so same kind of thing there on the back and I do think everything inside is exactly the same which is fine I'm not complaining uh, oh I didn't know oopsie daisy got that in my mouth it's fine it did not do anything uh lavender haze so that's purple or lavender and then the rest of it is this like darker colour. I didn't realise it was only the title because the lyrics are also like the orangey colour. Or is that maroon? I don't really know my colours, I must admit. Yeah, so same thing. They are gorgeous, but it is just exactly the same with all of them. Oh, oh my god, I love that picture. I don't think I've seen this one. <gasps> I love that, I'm, I want that. That is such a nice... Why have they not released lithographs on the store? Now, if you've seen my merch video, you know I actually don't really like lithographs because I just think they're overpriced posters. But they should release them for this. I think it would fit the aesthetic. And even I might buy one because I'm usually not a lithograph person. <gasps> oh, this is marble. I can see it's very marble. <gasps> you can just... You can already see. <gasps> oh, this is gorgeous. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. Are you, are you ever just speechless sometimes? Like you just see something you're like, I don't even know how to respond to this because it's like... Oh my god. That's so pretty. So these are actually my first marble um, vinyls. The rest of my vinyls have all been block colours. Whereas this is my first marble one. And like this is like properly... <gasps> That's so nice! Look at it! Oh my gosh, can you like fully, oh this is, oh it's stunning. It, I think it looks a bit of a darker colour on camera than it actually is like in person, like when you hold it up to the light, but oh my gosh, it's just, the... oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm just going to be raving about this for the rest of time actually, because that is oh my gosh and this one was actually a gift from my mom so shout out to my mom and um, she does watch all of my youtube videos so um hi mom because <laughs> she'll be watching this like oh my gosh she's bought all the vinyls she's a fool um but my mom very kindly got me this one so thank you so much because this is amazing i'm ju i'm just in shock because it's just so good eyes like i knew it was going to be nice but not this nice i like her she's nice Okay, I'm being careful. I may have, I hope I haven't touched it, but I think I've been quite good holding them actually. You can see my first one when I did Red Taylor's version unboxing, that was my first vinyl. I was so nervous I was gonna do it wrong and I was gonna get like canceled by the vinyl people. Please don't ever do that. Um, I promise I, I promise I look after them and I care for them. Um, <laughs> there we go. So that is the Blood Moon version of Midnight's. Absolutely fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, that's the back just fantastic pictures i really love how different they are and just how beautiful they are so next up we do not have to worry about unwrapping it because it's already unwrapped now don't worry it didn't come like that i unwrapped it because it came yesterday on a sunday which was wild because obviously in the uk you don't really get post on sundays so that was a surprise it arrived ever so slightly damaged so like part of the cover is slightly damaged which i was a little bit sad about because this is the one i was most excited about but it arrived like that so it is what it is, um, but I'm excited to at least have it, so that's good. Uh, just a little bit disappointed that it was slightly damaged. But other than that, 
I love her. This one is a signed one and when I opened the signed picture yesterday, so the signed picture, I kept it in the exact position where it would be because some people um, I've seen didn't get that uh, vinyl signed which is really bad but I've seen some people did get them signed but thought they hadn't because they didn't know where to look because they thought it would just be where you open it. So um, if you're wondering if you've got a signed vinyl, you've never owned a vinyl before, I will tell you where the sign bit is. It's, it's not too hard to find, which is good. So yeah, let's open this one up. This one I think has the best inner cover bit because it's that picture, which is like the one she used to like, um, say Midnight's is coming out and it's just like, it's such a good picture. She is going through it. <laughs> that is me listening to um, most of the songs on the album, to be honest, because I get sad. Okay, should I show you the lyric booklet first or the signed? I'll I'll do the lyric booklet because you know what it is. But yeah, the sign picture is just in front of the lyric booklet and that's where it is if you order it. Uh, but yeah, as I said, lyric booklet exactly the same in all of them. Um, in, in case you don't believe me, I will show you that it is exactly the same in all of them. <laughs> but yeah, lyric booklet exactly the same, but it is really nice, so can't really complain. Did that rhyme? That might have rhymed. Okay, are you all ready for the, are you ready? I don't think, I wish I bought more of them now. I really do wish, like, I wasn't gonna buy the signed vinyl because I was like, I only really want it if it's like the actual vinyl like that that's signed. Um, but then I caved because they were like on sale for longer than they were meant to be. So I was like, no, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. I wish I bought them all. I wish I bought them all because, <laughs> don't, I'm literally like, I'm so happy with this. Are you, are you ready? <laughs> you can see I'm happy yesterday again. I was just like speechless. <sighs> I wish I'd bought more of them. That's just... One, it's got a heart. So like a lot of the folklore Evermore Fearless and Red Tails versions didn't have hearts. And like the hearts are some of the best bits of Tails autograph. So... <gasps> it's so cool. It also kind of looks like a question mark. Like if you put a little dot like there, it would look like a question mark, which is quite cool. I'm I'm absolutely in love with that. I think it's absolutely stunning. I think just it's it is quite flimsy paper, so do be aware like it is quite like flimsy. Um it's it's high quality paper, don't get me wrong, like it's kinda like glossy, but like it is like not thick paper if you're like hoping for really thick paper. Um but yeah, it's hundred percent worth it. So this was thirty six ninety nine on Taylor's store, so it was about four pounds more than the normal vinyl. Um, which to be honest I think is worth it for four pounds extra I'm more than happy to pay if I get this gorgeous thing I honestly my only regret with this is just not getting more and this is one I will be getting a frame for because it's just so nice the rest of my signed CDs because they're like in like the CD like I'll just get one here um, they're in the CD so like I don't really feel like I need to have them um, framed. I know a lot of people do and I think you know they look really good but for me I think I don't have like that much space in my room um, so I'm more than happy just to have them displayed on my shelf like in the jewel case whereas this one because it's out of the jewel case like it's not got anything I will definitely be getting a frame for it to keep it protected. Um, it's good that it can go in there for the time being in the actual like vinyl bit but yeah um, she's just so nice. I've ordered the Moonstone Blue signed CD and I've also ordered the Jade Green signed CD. They haven't come yet because if you're in the UK you'll know there's been royal mail strikes which has actually resulted in a lot of vinyl CDs basically all Taylor merch being delayed not just to your house to say if you order it off Taylor's store but also to actual supermarkets and like places they sell them so I went to town straight away when um, on Friday like 9.30 I was at HMV and the shelves like had the space for it but it wasn't I was like surely it's not sold out like surely like, I'm sorry it's half nine um and it, it hadn't it hadn't so I went to the guy I was like hi do you have the new Taylor Swift and he was like oh we will at half ten onwards they haven't come in yet we've not managed to get them in oh my gosh I've not finished um I got so excited about the um sign bit I've not shown you the actual vinyl which is what everyone's here for so there we go love I just the pictures are so nice I think I really love this one I just think I don't know she just looks so good on this one this one uh, again she is going through it Taylor's sad a lot of these like songs people like it's not as deep as folklore and evermore and it's like are you listening to the same album I am these songs some of them are so sad um so like it's it's sad it's just like upbeat um 
okay. <gasps> I have already seen this one, so I do know that it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, this is the Jay Green one. I think this was one of the most popular final variants for Midnight's, just cause like, it's really nice. Um, and I think a lot of people like just love the cover of this and I think like the jade green the jade green aesthetic everyone loves now um, so this was definitely really really popular um, when I went to HMV on Friday when I went later on um, they didn't have this available and I went to my local record store today and they never got this in um, so this one is a bit harder to get I think but I think you, st you can still get it if you go on Taylor's website at the current moment in time so it's what like end of October you can still get it uh, but yeah, she is, she's gorgeous. She is very pretty. So we're gonna pop her back as well. And then we are going on to mahogany. If you're a Hunger Games fan like me, you will recognize the word mahogany because it is an expensive wood. And that is because Effie Trinket in the Hunger Games films, um, I think, um, I can't remember. I've not seen them in a while. I think it's Haymitch, like, um, stabbed the table with like a knife or something and then she goes that is mahogany and it was like such like it was like a meme before memes were well I guess memes were around but it was like a movie meme uh, with the Hunger Games fandom and yeah <laughs> a little tangent for you there does anyone was anyone like a Hunger Games fan I was I loved it so much I was obsessed with it I have multiple copies of the books so as you can tell like when I like something I like to collect the stuff so I think a few people will be watching these and being like these all have the exact same songs on them. Why are you buying multiple copies? And like, I don't collect anything else. You know, I, I know a lot of people collect pop figures and like, um, um, other things. I don't even know what people collect at the top of my head. What do people collect? Like Pokemon cards, um, Squishmallows, um, the things people collect, like action figures, that sort of thing. Like people collect lots of stuff. And I think like people view it differently if it's like, you know music more for younger girls I think if that makes any sense like if you were to get multiple variants of like the Beatles on vinyl people wouldn't judge you as much whereas people judge you with the Taylor ones um which makes me sad but yeah I don't collect anything else so this is really all I like kind of collect so um yeah this is what I've decided to spend my money on and it makes me happy uh, before because I know I'm gonna get someone be like why have you bought them all like blah 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 oh that was this much like you don't need to figure out how much I've spent on vinyls it's okay unless you're my mom then you can judge me uh, but everyone else no um just just do your own thing if you want to get all the vinyls get all the vinyls if you don't want all the vinyls don't get the vinyls I'm gonna come oh my gosh I think I've got it where it's coming off like this oh that was the best oh <laughs> that was almost the best one. This is the mahogany edition of Taylor Swift's Midnight's. Again, an absolutely gorgeous cover. I'm obsessed with them all. I just think they're all really, really nice. This is the mahogany one. And then I'll show you the back of the bit as well. So that is the final bit of the clock. Is it the final bit of the clock? Or are you the final bit of the clock? Who's the final bit of the clock? Where is it? It might not be the final but oh no is this six so this is the third bit of the clock we will figure out the clock later i did try to do it in order but i, I messed up um but yeah this is um part of the clock uh and there you go as well so let's let's have a look inside um so inside here is the lyric book again i will show you just so you can all be aware that it is exactly the same as well so there we go it also says uh, how long each track is on um in the lyric booklet there you go, more here, same thing, there you go, so yeah, exactly the same for the lyric booklet, and that goes in the front to the final, again, absolutely gorgeous, I'm so upset, these are absolutely stunning, I thought they were, I thought that had like toothpaste on it, that looks like a toothpaste stain, I was like, um, how has that happened, I just opened it, it wasn't, and this one, I really like this one, I love her shoes in this, they're so nice, Okay, let's have a look at this one. This is the mahogany one. Let's, will, it, will it open? Yes, it will. Ooh. This is more like see-through than the rest of them, definitely. Especially like in the middle. I don't know. You can probably see my eye. Oh, you can see me. Hello. That's me. That was really creepy. Does it make my face bigger? Hello. Um, <laughs> ignore me. There you go. So this is the mahogany one. I definitely thought this was going to be darker. I think it looks darker. It looks more yellow. Like when you put it like out of the sunlight, it just looked darker. Is... Be trying to show it you out of the sunlight. Like it looks darker like back there. There you go. It looks darker there. But when you put it up, like it definitely does look more yellow. 
um, but again it's really nice. This one isn't as marbled um, again like as the other ones so I think the best ones were definitely the Blood Moon and the Jade Green. We're also going to check out the Lavender one. I think that is marbled as well so we'll see how marbled that is but yeah this is the gorgeous Mahogany. Probably my least favourite of them all. I just think the colour isn't like my favourite and it's more like see-through and I think the marbling isn't the best. Um, so yeah, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> let's pop that back and let's do our final one, which is, drumroll please, the lavender one. There we go, so that goes in there and we'll pop that in the back. But this is the last one and it is the lavender one. So with the lavender one, it is technically the exact same cover and like the same um, bit of the clock as the normal Moonstone edition. It's just slightly different. So if you look on the back, um, I think the numbers are purple. Yeah, so the numbers are more purple and I think it might have like a filter, like a purpley filter rather than a blue filter. Um, and the front is the... Ah uh, yes, and the picture itself is also slightly... I'll take it out of the like wrapping so you can see the difference between the two. I definitely recommend getting like either the Moonstone one or the Lavender one if you want the clock because you don't actually need both for the clock. Um, when I was talking to my local record store today about it, they were like, yeah, we got this and like it, it doesn't have... Um, we don't have the full clock because they didn't have the jade green one and they thought they've made a mistake by sending them two of the same. But no, the Lavender one obviously is different, but it's the same part of the clock um because obviously a clock has the four parts and this is the fifth one which is a little bit disappointing they could have made this one I think it would have been good to have one that had like a full clock on the back if that makes sense so do one that has all like a full circle on the back uh, so you only need to buy that one or like if you bought the rest of them it wouldn't like in, like you don't have to decide you know what I mean does that make any sense I think it kind of makes sense but not properly there we go so take that off so this is not the Target edition, not the Target edition, because I'm in the UK, the Target edition, we don't have Target here. So it was released in the UK, it was released like a week or so after it was released like as a pre-order for in the US with Target, uh, but it doesn't have any of the bonus tracks on. So there you go, no bonus tracks, um, but it is purple. I'm not sure if the Target one is also marbled, but um, this is the one that is available in the UK. And you can see here now I've taken out the packaging, the difference between the two, like in terms of colour. So yeah, I think you can see, can you see? I think you can see. You can just see like obviously this one has more of like a purple kind of tint to it, this one doesn't, and then on the back the numbers are different. So the numbers on this one and then like filter on the image is more purple or more of like a pink, it's got a tint on it, whereas the moonstone blue one is just blue. There we go, so let's go for this one. I repeat, it is not the target one. There we go. Will this one be any different? I'm kind of hoping it is because like it's very similar to the Moonstone Blue. So like do you want to encourage you to buy all of them? But no. It would have been good if they made this whole one like a lavender haze theme and everything had like a lavender tint to it inside as well. Um, if I was going to do it, I would do that. Uh, but again, it's really nice. Like I think this is like, I love lavender. I, I'm a purpley pink kind of girl. So I was very excited when I saw that they released that. But yeah, exactly the same lyric booklet. Um, mm, has that got the purple tint to it? Let's have a look. Let's compare it to this. This one might have a purple tint on the back of that photo there. Um, yes, it does. There we go. I don't know if you can see. I don't know how, oh no, you can see. There you go. So you can see the difference. So this is the blue one. This is the Moonstone blue and this is the lavender one. So you can definitely see there is like a tint to this one, like on the back photo, but I think the front one is exactly the same. The front one's exactly the same. It's just the back bit that's different. So I guess that's quite cool. There we go. Da, 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 da. Oh. So that's that. That's really nice as well. Again, I think they've put so much effort into these. I think they've been really good. I've been really impressed with all of them, to be honest. Like, I think the vinyls themselves have been a little bit disappointing, but I think that's, that's the nature of them. Like, the, the nature of the marbled one is that you're not always going to get, like, a perfect marble. And you see this happen all the time with, like, lots of different vinyls from different artists of, like, the vinyl not looking like it does in the picture because they are all different. And I understand that. Um, so, yeah, these are the two images with these gorgeous i love them i do wish they had them as well like separately as like posters because that would be really nice like as like a little poster because i love posters 
Okay. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, I can already see it's go. Oh, it's so nice. You can see there is marbling. Oh, this is my favorite one. This, this is, this is beaten it. This is bleating the blood moon. This is my, oh, no, this is so nice. So it looks like all like normal. And then like you get it in the light. I might try to do like a video of this from like reverse. So like the light is behind it. Cause I feel like you can't properly see them. Like when I'm doing it from here, like you can see them. But like you can't see them the way I'm seeing them with the sun on them if that makes any sense. I feel like it doesn't. But I'm going to show you them all like that as well. <gasps> oh my gosh. No. Oh, I wasn't going to get this one. I'm not going to lie. I was not going to get this because basically I'd already got the Moonstone Blue one. I couldn't really justify it even though I really wanted it. But there's a little bit of like a bit in the circle though. I don't know if you can see that. But other than that. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with that. I'm really like, oh my gosh, my hair's stuck to it. Hopefully that doesn't, oh, it's so nice. Oh my gosh, sorry. And um, this is why me being a, me doing an unboxing, I can't be like the people who just do them silently and casually because I, I get so excited about this stuff. But this is, this is beautiful. I'm going to show you all so you can all see it. But yeah, this is probably the nicest vinyl I own. And it will, Inc oh my God, I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy. That is gorgeous. Oh, wow. I'm really happy with that. So, here we go. This is what the full clock looks like. Looks like this. The numbers do fit together really well. I am impressed with that. It looks really good. The only thing that is slightly disappointing is that barcode um, because it does kind of distract from like the artwork. But other than that, it is absolutely stunning these are all of the midnight's finals unboxing i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe um, i do lots of other videos especially taylor swift ones um, i also do other ones like travel ones mental health that sort of thing this is hurting my hand i'm gonna put that one down um so yeah it'd be really really cool if you could like and subscribe i also have a tiktok account where i do lots of um Tales of videos on there as well so check that out I will put the like the username in the bit below and basically my username on like most social media is just at Rachel Lorty too so definitely make sure to check me out on there uh, but yeah I hope you have enjoyed these let me know what your favorite track on Midnight's is if you bought any of the vinyls and if you have any questions or anything and I will try my best to answer them